Hello everyone, Sons and Doctor Zoom, welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview, this time on Just Map, a mini map mod for Fabric 115.2 that adds a bunch of different features from rendering caves in the nether, to map scaling, to 3D entity radars, to waypoints and in-game rendering, moved status effects icons with timers being pushed to the side so that they don't cover up the map, there's a bunch of other things as well. Um, we'll be looking at both config, view, inside mod menu, and via notepad document. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what we can cover. Um, obviously, some images again to get you, give you an idea. So, we'll just cover pretty much a bunch of changes to the map that we can do and then replicate that on the following here. So you can see obviously already with chat we can't view the map. We've obviously also got our directions, we've got what our terrain looks like, we've got our coordinates, biome and time. So if we want to change a few things we can change the map position to the middle right if we want to. So I'm assuming all nine directions are available here. Possibly. Got the ability to change the offset, so I'll change that to say 100 or something for example. That'll be more closer to the middle of the screen than being on the edges. Reset that, we can change the map size. Not sure if the actual limits of that, I'm assuming possibly three digits. Uh, maximum is 480 there. Actually, test here as well. Offset can be whatever it is. Medium. So it has to be an integer there. So we'll change the map size to 100. And it's a lot larger. Obviously, if it's 480, I'm assuming it's going to be significantly large. And we don't really need it that large, but we'll find out anyways. So you can make it take up pretty much about at least half my screen. Um, don't know if that'll be the exact for every user of the map. 256 it seems to be, so 480 for some reason it said that, I don't know why. So 256 it seems. Uh, showing the map while in chat if you want. So if you say one of the map open and you said okay uh, there's say a sheep at 101, 70, negative 29 or something You'd obviously use both at the same time, or if you just want to view it while doing it, obviously more likely than just pointing something out in chat, then yeah, that probably could be used for it. Uh, you can show caves on it, which I'll actually obviously demo in a cave. We'll just go into spectator, because I don't want to break too many blocks, and you can see it updating. We'll actually go close nearby for it to render in the actual ravine here, for example. We go here and tweak this. We can remove that and we can remove terrain as well as caves. And it'll just show what's above us. So, for terrain, obviously, it's not showing as much detail. It's just so, sort of showing bits and pieces of the grass. Um, and we'll go over to the tree here. And you can see it's just sort of a flat view. I'm pretty sure that is. Now you've got more detail. If you want to see that. We've got the terrain strengths, so you can see even more. And then we'll compare that to the lowest setting. At 2. Probably should make the map a bit bigger just in case. So you can see a fair amount of it there. At 2. And then we'll change it to the highest at 9. And you can see a lot more sort of coverage around the outlining of the blocks. Next we have obviously move status icon effects and the effect timers, so that's obviously relating to potions. We actually go into creative here because obviously I don't want to take damage. Um, let's see, so we'll get a potion and we'll just say give ourselves slow falling or something and a multitude of others, just to see how much 
gets pushed on uh, on display. Uh, don't know if speed and slowness counter each other like that, but either way we'll see. Um, so we go with poison, go with regeneration, go with strength, I don't think I have that on me yet. Weakness, and luck, and a few others as well, possibly, unless that may be everything. So we'll try that, and we'll see with how much actually it's displayed on the side of it, and how much goes underneath, um, since it's not needing to consider the map anymore. We'll do it at the default size, just because why not? It'll be a bit more representative of the default. So we'll just apply the following effects. Okay, so it applies it at the top and sort of just goes around. It doesn't sort of go, okay, here and then down like I thought it would. Okay then. So that's what will happen if you have multiple effects on at once, at least. So I'm assuming some that are countering are being applied here, either way. So yeah, it will display them like so. Sorry so much I don't remember about potion effects um, being displayed. So, next though, we have the next tab, which has alternate map color rendering, which we'll disable for now. Um, saturation of map colors, which will manipulate it in time, as well as brightness. Map skins, which you can enable or disable, and the current skin, which is the sort of typical one, but there is quite a lot of options here, so we'll go through those soon. So we'll just go with that for now, and we'll just check the map rendering, and you can see there it's not as strong, it's a lot more um, brighter in colour, or rendering a bit differently, I should probably more so say. I'll actually make it a bit bigger, just in case. Uh, say 120, because we're not really going far. So you can see a fair amount of it there, normally. If we change it, you can see the differences there. If we check here, you can see obviously the saturation difference. So we'll put it the other way. Change that back to normal, and then change the brightness. And then the other way, to negative. It's a lot darker. So that back to normal. We can disable or enable skins. We've just got pretty much sort of a display here. We don't have any borders or frames. Whilst we go to each of these, we we'll actually see what the other options are. So we go to the GUI, the GUI, so it looks a lot more natural with the game. If we display fancy, you can see it's now got its sort of pointed edges and it's more sort of in common with the advancements type look. Um, with those that obviously are unlocked or for higher difficulty to acquire. We'll go to Metal Frame. There's obviously a ton more as well from Oak, Bamboo, Stone, Cobble, Bedrock, Prismarine, Quartz and so on. I'm not going to go through all of them as there is quite a lot. Um, we'll just go through a few highlighted ones. So I'm assuming it's mostly just that sort of border framing with the textured block for it for the most part. Um, try I guess for example bedrock. Yep, so it's mostly that and then just the block texture around it. Oh, the blocks texture but then fitted into a frame of course. 